great comeback, great game at Stephen F. Austin, but not the final score you wanted. Uh, talk about uh, that performance. Well, I was real pleased we came out. We did make a lot of turnovers in the game. In the, pers in the first half, we made several, but a lot of those turnovers were aggressive turnovers because we were trying to get the guys to really push the ball and run the floor, and we made a lot of mistakes. As I told Daquan Hicks, I said, you know, I can live with some of the mistakes we made because the fact that we were trying to attack. Um, and did a good job, had a lead at halftime, uh, come back out, and, and they just really played extremely well during a stretch. And then the last nine minutes and I think 38 seconds, we held them to, to um, six points until we got to the last um, 28 seconds and uh, did a great job, came down, back from 60 to 48 um, on a 15 to two run. Uh, did a phenomenal job defensively, offensively, had some good things going for us. And then we just didn't guard the last two plays. Um, some people would say, well, you turn the ball over with three and a half seconds to go and they scored. If we get one out of two stops in the previous two possessions, the turnover, we wouldn't have been able to have a turnover because we would have been in a position to win the game. So I go back to this, the lack of defensive stops that, that hurt us. Um, just a really great atmosphere to play in. I'm sorry that for the people that were there, they had a great chance, Demon fans, for those that weren't there, I'm sorry that they didn't get to attend because it was an outstanding basketball atmosphere. And the beautiful thing about it, it really had no impact on our players. Uh, and that goes back to the fact that we play so many games in very hostile environments, um, huge venues. Uh, on the road early in the season, and we just kind of kind of went out there and played. If anything, I think it was a positive for us because you enjoy playing in front of people. But really pleased with the effort of Jalen West. Gary Stewart had a, had a good game. Daquan Hicks did some nice things as well. But uh, just disappointed we lost, but there seems to be a resolve that we need to pull together. We need to do the things we need to finish, to finish strong. I feel real good about the atmosphere. Um, of the team right now, the general attitude. Um, as I met with our team yesterday and talked with about seven or eight guys, I said, it's gonna be you guys that are gonna make the difference. And you gotta be mentally tough. You gotta come in, you gotta get better every day. And that's the guys basically you want to get in a number deal from five to, to 15. You know, those are the guys that are gonna make the difference. And uh, we've gotta rebound better and we've gotta be able to score the ball a little bit better to be able to make a nice run. Well, you've had some of those second wave guys, if you will, not your top four scorers who have stepped up their play recently, and that's got to give you a strong sense of encouragement. Yeah, I think that one of the things that you have to factor, and you go back to January, and Gary Stewart was about 20%. Marvin was about 20%, and Marvin didn't have a great game on Saturday on the boards and everything, but did make two huge free throws within the last two minutes of the ball game that were big, and, and so they're stepping up and playing a little bigger. Ryan King, a guy that's stepping up and playing a little, little better, didn't have a great weekend, so we expect a great weekend out of him this weekend. But uh, So they've done a nice job. Patrick Robinson has played a lot more consistent on the defensive end and had seven points and I think three or four rebounds as well and uh, did a nice job as well. Here we are at the end of February. Your team is 7-2 and two in its last nine games, the two losses both in the final seconds, one possession games. Um, I think it's safe to say you've got them playing the way you'd like to be playing at this time of year. We do, but we also need to understand that we need to get better from this point forward, make improvement this week, make improvement the next week, heading into the conference tournament. Uh, that's where I think sometimes that we lose sight that you want to be improving up until the final opportunity to go out and play and that's one of the things that I think that our program has done a really good job of over the years finishing in the championship game seven out of the 14 years that I've been here at Northwestern and we're just hoping we can make it eight out of 15. All right one thing that's not related to the on the court uh, excitement uh, Bryson White in the uh, Dark Horse Dunker contest the second week of that and he's advanced into the second round uh, that's and another exciting opportunity for the program. Well, just excited because Bryson's a quality young man with an with a unusual skill set, 5'10", and can really, really be a high flyer. I hope people will really support him and go and um, vote for him. And that's important because that's another opportunity for our name at Northwestern State, just not Bryson's name, to get out there and be a part of something on a national um, level that uh, elevates our program to the to, uh, 
the level we want to try to be at. We want to be a program that people know about us. And we've got several categories that we score really high in in basketball, for instance, the most possessions, uh, second in scoring. And so this will be another opportunity to get uh, recognition nationally, and that's important. Does Bryson take any advice from you on dunking? Not really, you know. I mean, I, I could probably work with him some if he'd like, but, you know, I mean, kind of let him do his own thing. Of course, they, he looks at me and doesn't understand that I used to be a little bit of a high flyer myself. <laughs> okay, let's talk about flying high down uh, to South Louisiana during Mardi Gras season. Uh, the Demons Thursday at Southeastern and uh, Saturday at UNO. First, the uh, Southeastern Lions, uh, always a great in-state rivalry with them in basketball. Uh, talk about the challenges and the only meeting this season between these two teams. Well, Southeastern is a very good team. They've got Michael Hawkins and Dre Evans that are very, very good play. And Ui Ucho, I can't really pronounce it, very, very good players. But um, they do a great job. But they're playing a little different as well. They're playing a lot of zone. They played 40 minutes of zone the last game out against UNO and playing a lot of zone, a lot of 2-3, some 1-3-1. One, one. So uh, a little adjustment there. And, and the fact that we're playing a lot of zone is a little adjustment on the other side. So it'll be interesting to see how – uh, but this game uh, develops because we're both playing different than we normally do. And then Saturday, uh, you go to the first conference meeting with uh, UNO in New Orleans, and uh, in addition to a team that's certainly shown that it is very competitive in the conference this year, it's a team coached by your longtime assistant, 11 years on the bench with you, Mark Schlesinger. Uh, so that both uh, presents some challenges from a basketball perspective and Obviously, always the uh, emotional end of it, uh, you've gone through coaching against Coach Simmons for years. Well, I think the biggest thing there, excuse me, is that um, you have the opportunity to play a team that is well coached. And uh, as Coach Simmons told me a couple of weeks ago, it's kind of like playing Northwestern. So it'll be kind of like playing ourselves. I mean, we'll do some different things. I know, I know he's got some zone attacks that are a little different than what we do. But it is a great opportunity. Really proud for him because he's really done a great job and is, is having a, a great year. I had great wins, went out to UTEP and won. Um, somebody that we couldn't beat. And he's been very, very competitive with one of our former players, Corey uh, Dixon, who's now been there and is one of his lead leader, leader, I believe, in rebound. Has done a really nice job with him. And uh, just uh, it'll be an exciting matchup. Uh, they are very, very hungry. He has them playing uh, at a very, very high level. And it'll be a very, a very, difficult task to play him and his team.